Saitama was just doing his workout, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and a 10-kilometer run every day. But one day as he was running, he would hear rumors of a strange area, a place where demons came from. He didn't really mind it. However, one day as he went to the supermarket, it was closed. It said, too scared of demons will open up when the rumors are closed. It seemed like the rumors got so bad, and there's already monsters everywhere. The supermarket was closed until someone took care of the demons. Saitama was so worried. He loved his bargain day. He loved those good deals. He can't let this happen. So, he quickly ran. He ran to as Saitama would simply run to the location to investigate the rumors. As he got there, there was a strange cult there, and there was a bird-like owl man who looked at him. Oh, I was just here for the birthday cake. Sorry if that's your friend they're sacrificing. I Suddenly, Saitama would just punch him, knocking him out. Was that it? Just some bird monster? As all the cult cultists charged at him, he simply just knocked them out. But suddenly, a portal opened up. He said, huh, I guess who's ever in here is causing the trop problem. As then, Saitama walked through it, going into the has-been universe. As Saitama was walking around in this new universe... He just thought everyone around him was a monster, so he was just kind of, well, destroying everything. Just punching everything and causing everything to be destroyed. Causing most of the entire pride ring to be destroyed. Overlords and other people would stand against him, but it wouldn't really do much. As he was punching everything, Charlie would say, Can you please stop? Saitama would look and say, Huh? Please? Sure. Can you not bother that convenience store, though? I do need good deals from the supermarket. Charlie was shocked. All this was about some sort of supermarket? Was he messing with her? Um, well, you look rather human. If it wasn't for that completely bald head, I would have assumed you weren't a sinner. Saitama said, oh. He didn't know what a sinner was. He just thought she was making fun of him. As he said, that's not very nice. Well, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to mock your baldness. Just we all have traits since we've gone down here, you see. Well, anyway, you'd be great for my hotel. Charlie would offer it to him, not really realizing he's a setter. He would say, nah, I'm good. I just want some good deals from the supermarket. As he looked, he saw the building where he came from was gone. As he sighed, uh, do you know where good supermarkets are? Charlie would say, uh, yeah, then I'll stay with you. Charlie would say, oh, um, thank you. As then, Saitama and Charlie walked into the hotel. As Saitama started to look around, he saw Angel, as Angel would see him and say, So we're letting in bald guys now? <laughs> you know, I'm not. that's not really my thing. But I did hear you destroy an entire city, so you are pretty jacked. Maybe I can make an exception for you. Saitama would say, You know, it's too bad. Too bad for what? Too bad I'm not into dudes. Angel then looked annoyed, as suddenly Husk would start to laugh. He would laugh his butt off. Oh, your little ego got crushed there, didn't it, Angel? Well, I'm Husk, egghead. Don't know why you would destroy most of the city, then randomly join the hotel. Suddenly, Alistair would show up and say, I like your spunk, kid. I like how you show yourself you mean business. Since you destroyed everything, I guess you just got here. You wanted to make a name for yourself. Well, work with me. You know, we can make a deal. Why don't you say me and you team up? We can make a great deal. Everyone was waiting. As Hus said, kid, you don't want to make a deal with Alistair. He simply said, hold on a second. Yeah, make your own decision. Don't let that spoiled cat make a decision for you. Suddenly, Saitama would look up at Alistair and say, do these deals div involve bargains at the supermarket? Alistair would say, no. Well, then I'm not interested. What? This is not humorous. Charlie says, I don't think he's joking. Honestly, all he cares about is getting half-off items at the supermarket. Alistair was shocked. I see. How, how strange. As Saitama simply sat down, he was a pretty chill dude, honestly. He didn't have any outbursts. Honestly, he didn't have much emotion at all. And the, the only things they would catch him doing is working out, push-ups and pull-ups. But Saitama actually kind of missed Genos. Genos may have been annoying to him at first, but Genos had like, I don't know, he had like a bond to him. They were like close friends. And well, he wanted to know where he was. Meanwhile, we cut to Genos. Genos would be looking over the footage of when Saitama walked through the portal. 
with the scientist who turned him into a cyborg. As he would ask what happened, he would say, Well, Genos, if I had to guess, I think Saitama went into an alternate dimension. Genos would say, Really? Do you think we'll ever be able to get him back? He said, Yes. In fact, I have a lot of the same technology, or how, how they like to call it magic. Really, all the spells is, it's just complicated technology I can set up. It'll only take me about a couple weeks. Geno said, really? Only a couple weeks? Hmm. All right, then. I just, well, I know Master will be okay. If there was anyone stronger than him, then the human race could not exist. However, I am still worried. Worried? Why is that? He's the strongest man I've ever met. And a brilliant teacher, but... He's become so powerful, mundane things no longer affect him. And I feel like someone could take advantage of that. As then we cut back to Saitama. As Charlie was getting ready for the battle, they didn't really know what to do with Saitama. After all, he showed up not too long before Adam was supposed to show up, but you know... He was destroying the entire city, so the only way Charlie could get him to stop was to ask him to join. She didn't expect he actually would. Charlie would say, Hey, you! You're pretty strong, aren't you? Saitama would say, Yeah, I suppose so. Why? Saitama would say, Curious. Charlie would say, Wow, you must have really have arrived here. Looks like Alistair was right. Anyway, I, um... There's gonna be some angels coming down to wipe us out. You think you can fight angels? Aren't they the good guys? Why would we want to do that? Charlie would say, well, they want to exterminate and wipe us all out. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. I'll talk to them about it. One Punch Man would stand up. Talk to them? No. Saitama, you're going to have to fight them. Nah, it's cool. Don't worry. I can handle this. You guys don't have to get your hands dirty. He said so nonchalantly. As Charlie said, um, well, you should get a spear. Nah, I don't need a spear. I got my fist. But that's the only way to destroy them. Nah, I don't need to destroy them. If they won't listen, I'll just knock them out. Besides, they're angels. They can't be that bad. Saitama said as he walked away. Everyone was shocked at this attitude. Nifty said, I can't tell if he's a bad boy or not. I don't know if I like him. Husk will say, me either. He's kind of emotionless. Husk would take a drink. Angel Dust would say, yeah, he's no fun. He doesn't play when I come on to him. Charlie would say, well, I like him. Vaggy would say, you like everyone, hun. Charlie would say, that's not true. Really? Some guy told you to F off. And you said, have a nice day. Well, I... Uh, I guess so, but he's gonna protect us. And he hasn't done anything bad to us either. Angel would say, I guess that's true. He could be worse. Husk would say, yeah. Alistair would say, psh. I can't read that guy. He doesn't want any power. He doesn't want any money. He doesn't have any goals other than just to shop. And he just works out. That's it. Ugh. He has no good taste, Alistair would say. As then they would all just nod. But they had bigger fish to fry. They had to prepare the, prepare the hotel for the attack. As Charlie and everyone else got their weapons ready and gathered an army, Saitama didn't do anything except for push-ups and sit-ups and a 10 kilometer run every single day as Saitama was well he was enjoying himself he was having a good day but this was the day of the attack Saitama would run in and wait as then he saw angels all fly down he would run past the gate as Charlie said wait Saitama please don't as the angels fell down Adam looked and saw him as then he sensed him and he said wait you're not a sinner. Charlie would say, what? You're just a human. How did you get down here? Saitama would say, I walked through a portal. Oh, well, um, this has literally never happened before. Well, uh, I don't know. Just move out of the way and I won't destroy you. Nah, you see, destroying people is wrong. So I was going to try to ask you to stop. Adam would say, don't say they brainwash you. You're a human. You shouldn't worry about demons like them. Saitama would say, demons like them, huh? That seems kind of rude. Besides, why can't we all just relax? Adam would say, you're making me mad. This is your last warning. Saitama would say, you know, it's not nice to threaten people. As suddenly, Adam would swing his weapon right at Saitama, but it broke instantly as it hit him. He said, that's impossible. It's made out of angelic power. 
Saitama would say, oh, is it now? That's interesting. Anyway, I want to ask you to leave, as suddenly all the exorcists would swing their weapons at him, and he would say, you know, it's not nice to play with toys. As in, he would punch them, sending them flying as they all threw throughout the city. He made sure not to destroy any of them. They're all just knocked out. Saitama said, can you go now? Adam said, but, 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 why? Why do you defend them? Because they're people, just like me. They can talk, they can think, that makes them people. I guess I shouldn't say that since I've destroyed quite a few monsters from before. But even so, you should leave. Adam said, but, uh, uh, uh. Adam was completely dumbfounded. Every time he tried to attack Saitama, it did nothing. He could do nothing but look powerless, as then he just flew away with loot. As then everyone looked shocked that Saitama won. Charlie said, wow, you actually did it. I'm impressed. Suddenly, though, a portal would open up. Genos would look at him and say, there you are, master. We must hurry back. The world needs you. Saitama would say, okay, well, it's fun seeing you guys. Uh, come out anytime, I guess. Just don't just don't mess up the supermarket. I really like it. And that's where I leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video with all of your friends. I really enjoyed making it. And I hope you really enjoyed watching it. Sorry I'm out of breath right now. I've kind of... Whoa, today's been a big day for me. It really has. I've done a lot. Uh, I feel like I have a lot more to do, you know? By the way, tomorrow, or I should say the day after tomorrow, because... You know, the day after tomorrow, I'll edit the, the video will be edited. But anyway, there'll be a video up on my gaming channel if you like that. And yeah, did you enjoy this What If video? Do you like One Punch Man? Are you excited for Season 3? Have you read the manga? Let me know down in the comments below. And who is your favorite One Punch Man character? Let me hear it. I bet majority of you will say Saitama or Garo. Garo is my favorite, honestly. I love Garo. He's like the villain with all the traits of a hero. And that fight where he fought those seven heroes, that was just awesome. Man, Garo is so cool. I used to listen to Garo AMVs like all, all F a day for like four weeks straight. <laughs> uh, do people still listen to AMVs? I'm sure they do. I listened to them like for like two months and I never listened to them again. Anyway, that's, that's enough of me. <laughs> Love you all. Hope you had a great day. Peace out.